Hey guys, I have another Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's just a really quick haul, um, but I was excited about some of the things that I found. Um, I have been holding back a little bit and just collecting mostly Christmas stuff, which I'm going to do a big Christmas one video a little bit later. I probably will do that right when I get all my Christmas stuff together, so look for that right after Thanksgiving. Um, but the first thing I found are the owls and I have been waiting to haul these went to two dollar trees today and this is the only one that I found so well I found the gold one I found the silver one they were only at one dollar tree today so but I was super excited that I got those and like I had said I was gonna put them on the candle pillars holders I actually think they look really gorgeous on there. Um, I like the combo, and I think it looks some like something that didn't come from the Dollar Tree. And you could embellish the bottom a little bit with some crystals or something if you wanted to. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything like that yet, but they have a home on my little stand right here. So I was excited to get those for my collection. And then um, the next thing I hauled were these mint cream cookies. And I'm sure you guys have seen these. I've seen a few people haul them. And I might have hauled these before. I know we've had them before. They are delicious. And um, there was a few packs on the shelf, maybe like seven. Um, and my daughter and I decided we wanted to do these chocolate-covered sandwich cookies with um, peppermint candy cane sprinkled on top. And so we, um, and I spied these. We had decided that we wanted to do that when we were in the grocery store, but then I spied these at the Dollar Tree, and I was like, oh, a dollar for these. And there's 30 cookies in each pack, so we got five packs. So I've got 150 cookies to do, which will be plenty to give out on our tray, so we'll give those little goodie trees out to our families and friends. So I was excited to have those to, uh, to do that. Um, I'm trying this bread... Um, from Claudia's Bakery. It's like a brown and serve French baguettes. Um, I were having a stew tonight and I thought, you know, I wanted to make rolls, but I have running around all day. I do not have time to do that. So I thought I would try these because they'll be fresh out of the oven. Um, I hold this little mason jar looking mug it's super cute and it's a plastic mug they had a green one that i think had a reindeer and a red one with a snowman and i actually hauled this a week about a week ago when i came back today there was one of them come on the shelf at all period but my daughter's been collecting little frozen things for her friend and she thought when she saw this she thought that that would be good for the little frozen themed gift that she's gathering together so and then speaking of we found a puzzle in the tin and the cute thing I said about about this was not only is it um the frozen puzzle but the tin is super adorable so and you could reuse that separate from the puzzle if you wanted to so oh that was cute um got this wreath Right now it looks kind of mangled, but we're going to clean it up and do a DIY. And man, my camera is shaking. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. But, um, so I may do a DIY video. If not, I'll just definitely post on Instagram when I'm done with this. So if you can, like, if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. That'll be within the next couple of weeks trying to get those DIY decorations done before Christmas time as we always put up our Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving. Um, it's a family tradition. So we put our tree up and we have special Christmas treats while we're setting up our tree and we watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So that's my husband's touch to our family tradition. So. Alright, so I know I've seen people haul these a long time ago, but I found them in a Dollar Tree that I don't go to all the time. And um, I got three. 
And I still have chalkboard labels, so I think I'm going to cut chalkboard labels to fit in there. And sorry about that dinging, my phone. And I didn't realize the ringer was on. The volume, anyways. Um, but I'm going to use these, you know, in the bathroom for Q-tips and cotton swabs and all that. Good jazz. So I got three of those. Um, I picked up this NYC and Plum. I had hauled these, some of these before, but this is a different color that I didn't have. And Plum, been really into plums and purples. So this one looks, I'm going to swatch it. It looks a little brown in the package. So I'm kind of curious if it's going to come off like a brownie purple or... Um, there we go, if you can see it all. It definitely has some browner hints, like a brownish undertone, but it's very pretty. It's still purplish. Um, I really like that, actually. It's a good combo. Um, I went ahead and picked up this dial. I actually got the secret in, um, the Secret Clinical Strength in my Walmart Beauty Box, and I had never used a Clinical Strength deodorant before. I didn't have a need for it necessarily, um, but I am loving it. Like, one of the things I notice is that um, the scent of it still smells like that at the end of the day, only re one application. Like, I've never had to reapply deodorant or something, but um, the scent of the deodorant wasn't necessarily still there, but it I also it was also doing its job. Um, but a lot of people have compared this dial to that, and at a dollar, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that because I fell in love with that that secret deodorant. But I don't want to pay eight dollars a bottle for deodorant. That's just just a little. I mean, my three dollars. If I can get this dial for $1 and I love it, that'll be even better than the three something that I pay now. So, yeah. Um, oh, I hauled the milkshake one. So cute. And there's a lot of the other ones at the Dollar Tree right now, but I want you guys to look out because if you visit Walmart, even um, a Big Lots, especially if you frequent those stores right now in their Christmas gift sections they have them for like eight or ten in a pack for five dollars so you're getting them like if you find a ten pack you're getting them for fifty cents a piece versus um versus a dollar a piece and you can still break those up in different stocking and stuffers or one gift or whatever like I have a 10 year old a whole pack of lip balm would be a uh, the 10 pack of lip balm would be fantastic for her so anyways and this brand right here um I have the Cheeto one which I find disturbing but my eight-year-old son loves it um this is also a brand that they sell at um Claire's and um they smell really, really good. Like, the smell is strong and it's lasting, so. Okay, and the next thing I hauled is I finally found at the Dollar Tree that I don't frequent often are the Top Speeds. I only picked up a few colors just because I love, I mean, have so many nail polishes. So, I picked up ones that really stuck my eye. This is an Emerald, 330 Emerald. Um, if I... I have to try them out. If I really, really love them, I'm going to go back. And I was actually thinking about going back and getting some for my daughter because they are the quick dry version. And 10 year olds don't always have patience. Um, this is in golden. This one I just thought was so pretty. I've been really into gold wearing it on my eyes like all the time. And then this one is mistletoe which I thought was so cute, and I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there, but mistletoe and Christmas, it's just awesome. Oh, and if you guys can check out my lights right there, look at those, those owl lights. I love them. There's my whole little collection. Um, I had spied them at Target during the Halloween stuff, and I was like, you know what, $14. I can do it, but I was just like... I don't know, they're lights, but it's like, they're burlap, and they're owl, and they're so cute. And I never did make it back to pick them up, and then we went the day after Halloween, and they had them, and they were half off. 
So I was like, I was so surprised they hadn't been scooped up yet, but I grabbed them and I was so excited. So anyways, not, not a Dollar Tree thing, but I was excited to show them off. Um, bobby pants. I've seen several goodie things there. I've hauled a few things. Um, my hair is so short, so I don't wear them very often. And my daughter recently cut her hair too. She wears headbands and that's about it. Um, but the curved ones, not the all the way around fabric ones. Um, but these, I had seen them in 60 count, which I was like, that's not really that great of a deal. Um, even though they're goodie, but I did see them in the 90 count and that is a great deal. These are usually $2, $2.50 I think at my Walmart. This is how I buy them and I buy them all the time. So I was excited to find them at Dollar Tree. Um, then I picked up this, um, Hyper Shine lip gloss. I believe I already even, I have all of these already from e.l.f., but this is a really pretty color and I figured that if I didn't keep it, I could pass it on to a friend or my daughter because they're normally $2 and it was a dollar. So, oh, and the last one, I picked up an NYC, another NYC and Brandy Sparkle and so I thought I didn't have this, but then I was looking through my stuff today and I might. So, we'll see. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. Thank you for checking it out with me. Um, it was, it's been really fun. And um, hopefully I'll have some more for you. I have some DIYs coming up with my wreath that, that I hauled today and a couple other ones that I, I can't remember if I hauled this stuff for it a while ago. Um, and then I'll post pictures on my Instagram. So if I don't, of, of this project, if I don't um, do videos on everything, I'll definitely have it on my Instagram, which is below. So go ahead and um, look me up in there and start following me. There's not a super ton of Dollar Tree stuff on there yet, more DIYs and stuff. But I'm definitely building that as well. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today, and I will talk to you later. Bye!